my name is Gats, Art of Fair Librarian, and welcome to a new vlog. Um, it is already Sunday evening, which is... It's about time that I started this vlog, um, because I do have quite a few updates for you. First of all, I dyed my hair again. It is purple again. I don't know if you can see it because the lighting isn't great and it's in a ponytail, um, but it's quite a bit darker than what I previously had, which I'm a little sad about. Um, but the guy at the salon said that the color I had before does indeed wash out very quickly. Um, and so if I want to keep it longer, then I would have to go darker. Um, which I did. Um, and I'd rather have it be a little darker than what I actually want and it's staying than it being gone after one wash again. Um, but I'm still a little sad that it's so dark. Um, but oh well. I also have reading updates. Um, first and foremost, The Bone Turret Emperor, I um, read quite a significant amount of it. I'm about a third of the way through. And I'm really enjoying this. Um, it's hard to give thoughts without spoiling book one. Um, so if you haven't read book one, if you don't want to be spoiled for it, um, skip to whatever point I'm no longer holding up this book because I really don't know how to communicate my thoughts without spoiling book one. So I'll give you a little bit of time to skip ahead um, if you don't want the spoilers. If you're still here, I assume we're good. Um, I'm really liking the sort of change of power that we see both with Failu and with um, Lin and sort of how they want to do things differently but it's hard because these um, things are in place um, and they're built around the way they used to be done and to change them you have to fundamentally change a few other things um, which is hard and, and which just doesn't happen from one day to the next um, and then also this is not the best time to change these things um, so it's it's hard but they're really trying not to repeat the mistakes of their parents um but they're struggling and i really like um that discussion and that portrayal um i am also liking uh nisong's pov um her pov as, as sand um might have been my favorite in book one um and i still quite enjoy them here um i don't want more of them because i think we have a great amount of them they're like we don't get her very often we don't get her very long um but it's the perfect amount of knee song and it's just i love her pov but I want her to be defeated and to die um, because it feels so weird to be in her head because she doesn't really have morality. She's like the fantasy version of an AI and she is just so... Like, I... I, I don't even know if I can call her evil because she literally has no morality like she literally cannot be bothered 
whether her actions are moral or not because it's just a concept that she doesn't have um and it's so weird being ahead of a character like that um so yeah i find it very interesting um but i also want her to be defeated because the things that she does are terrible but i don't hate her it's just you can't really hate someone i think if they don't have a like if they don't know what is that they're what they're doing is wrong because they don't have a concept of right or wrong it's it's very weird um so yeah um there is some politicking going on in Lynn's POV that I'm really enjoying. I'm definitely liking her perspective more than I liked her in book one. Um, I feel like we're going somewhere. Um, there is more, like our plot is more dynamic versus in the first book it felt like we were sort of staying in one place. Um, and like we're going to be doing something in the first book I felt. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying that. Um, I'm enjoying some of the mystery that is still here. Um, so yeah, I'm liking this. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'll talk to you about this book again when I have read more. We welcome people back who skipped ahead to avoid spoilers. Um, I have also um, two more updates. So I um, read the third and final album in the Oliver and Peter series. This is a comic series um, that I really, really liked. Um, this one... <laughs> I think out of the three so far is my least favorite um, because I felt that this one was a bit rushed. Um, the pacing was so incredibly fast. Um, it, I'm not going to say that the story didn't make sense, but it was sometimes just, and now we're doing this, and now this, and now this, and we didn't really get time to... Um, to go over things and that sometimes made it feel a little bit um disjointed that's the word i was looking for it's a little bit disjointed at times um also the ending like there wasn't really an ending it just was over um which was a little weird and abrupt um it does make sense how it ends, but it was also just like, we're done now. Um, so yeah, I I still like this book. I, I thought there were some fun things and um, yeah, I didn't dislike it. I had a fun time with it, but I just wish that it maybe had been four um albums and then we could like have a little more time for this and we didn't need to rush it as much as we did um is there something else let me see if there's something else that i needed that i wanted to talk about Um, yeah, we have um, a little backstory on um, Hook because we learned that the Hook in this series is not the actual Hook from the Peter Pan story. Um, that like the, the initial Hook is dead and that this Hook is a new one um and sort of we learn how this new person became 
Hook 2.0. Um, so yeah, that was um, that was in here as well. Um, I enjoyed this series. I really recommend this series. It is very dark, so if that's not your vibe, then don't read this. Um, but it is, I really enjoyed it. The second album is still my favorite. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this series, even if the final album was a little bit of disappointment, but I still liked it. It just was a little rushed. And then I started um, a book. I started Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. I've read part one. Um, and I'm quite enjoying this. I did not expect this to be the way that it is. Um, we're in a new location again because so far um, every book in the series has sort of been a different place and sort of been its different subplot thingy or like it's its own we're doing something different in each book um so we're in this new place um and it is made up of these fragments um so fragments of a planet um with nothing in between them um and as far as I can tell, they're all like very different, um, different environments. So we have one that was like a jungle. We have one that's a desert. We have one that is, um, just like different, different environments. Um, and I'm really liking it. I, I don't know, but I don't know that you can call it a, a trope, but just jumping from like one environment to the next is something that I really enjoy in stories when it happens. Um, that can be like actual teleportation or different dimensions or in this case fragments of planets. Um, but I, I, I enjoy it. Um, so that's fun. It's very adventure-esque. There were like pirates. Um, so yeah it's it's a different vibe from the first two and so i understand why this one got mixed reviews because it does feel different from the first two books so far and if you were expecting the thing that you got in one and two then maybe um this could be a little bit disappointing um but i'm enjoying it um Doomslug isn't in it so far, and I'm really sad because Doomslug is the best character in the series. Um, but yeah, I'll, um, I'm not that far in, so I don't have much to say just yet. Um, Mbot has, um, like his personality has developed more um and he's getting a little annoying um but spencer is getting annoyed at him as well so i think he's supposed to be but he's still annoying um but yeah overall i'm enjoying it um i'll talk to you again when i have another update because that is all the updates i have so far um so yeah, hi. Hi. It's Wednesday evening. Um, and I wanted to close the vlog. Um, I'm gonna try not to make this clip too long because I need to leave um in a bit. So um I'll just say I read some more of Cytonic. I've read part two now, which means I'm this far into it. Um and I'm really enjoying this. It is a very different vibe from the first two books, as I already said. And I can see why a lot of people say um, that it's no longer sci-fi, but it really became fantasy in this one. 
they're right. <laughs> um, there's just too much magical stuff going on here to call it sci-fi. Um, I'm still gonna call it sci-fi in my spreadsheet. Um, but yeah, I know that it is fantasy, actually. Um, I'm still liking the little fragment thing and the having the different environments that are not that don't totally feel natural or that just maybe that's not the right word but just it feels odd that they're like totally different um environments so close together um but that's something that i really like in stories um they're on a quest in this one um but it's if you don't like quest stories you'll still like this um we don't get a ton of walking <laughs> um, even though they are walking a lot um so yeah that's one um thing i would have liked to see more of the different fragments but on the other hand like I can see that that maybe is not the most interesting. Um, so I would have thought the different fragments were more interesting to the plot and we got more of them, if that makes sense. Um, we're finding stuff quite quickly. Like I didn't expect us to find something this early on in the book or to reach something this early on in the book um it's not in the end of the quest but it's like the first um part of it is done um but yeah um there have been quite a few um moments where they're commenting on what makes us human um not only um with mbot because he is um becoming more like he's developing emotions he's um he's struggling with that um so we get that obviously with him but not only there like there are some other element in this um that gives opportunity for those discussions and i really really like them um there are some really nice quotes in this one um so yeah i'm quite enjoying this um it is different from the first two books but i'm really liking it um so that's my reading update for now because i haven't i've read a little bit more of the bone shirt emperor but not enough to fully have my thoughts um so then that will be the end um of this week's video um let's recap what did i read i read the third and final album in oliver and peter i forgot the title um but i read that one i DNF'd Bob Goes to Weasel. I started Cytonic and I continued the Bone Shark Emperor. I think that's all. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you again next week. I'm thinking maybe I should make these vlogs bi weekly because I just don't have the time to read as much nowadays um so and also just to film um is a struggle so these vlogs are always very short and only two updates which isn't that much so maybe i should do them bi-weekly i'm not sure um i'm gonna have to think about that um but We'll see. Um, so this is now really the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed. 
and I hope to see you again in another video. Bye!